And the study doesn't begin and end here at church on Sundays. At least take what you heard on Sunday and go home and study it. And then meditate on it. And then practice it daily. That's a good thing to know. Number three, are you teaching others the Word? Some of y'all been saved enough, long enough. You should be teaching other people the Word. It shouldn't just be being teaching. There should be a lot of world changers that know how to teach this Word of grace. Grab clothes, man. Number one, you don't know what you're talking about. Number two, you know what I'm saying? They can't learn from a Bible that's given to you in your own delusion. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, remember I told you, I'm going to turn you over to your own delusion. I'm going to give you your own delusion. And your fears, I'm going to bring up on you. Because when I call, none did ask. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, I ain't heard nobody say give nobody no money. 2018, 2019, and 2020. You know what I'm saying? It is 2022. A damn shame. It ain't nobody no Adam. It ain't nobody no Jesus. If you talk about your church, y'all to know how to teach somebody. What they gonna teach somebody? You been had God in your backyard for 14 years. You know what I'm saying? You can't say his name because you jealous of the man, you know what I'm saying? You lied on Adam and Eve, you know what I'm saying? Talking about they were sinners, and Adam and Eve ain't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? You can't eat no apple or no orange or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And defile nobody else. You can't eat it and defile nobody else. If anything happened to pause and kill you, if you ungodly, but if you godly, the poison can't kill you either. You can't die, because you an angel. You know what I'm saying, of God. You know what I'm saying, see, we You don't know nothing about me, man. You know what I'm saying. I'm past where you been, you know what I'm saying. I thought, and I finished, and I'm done with what you thinking of doing one day. I've done as you, Creflo, as me watching you do it, you know what I'm saying? From within you, Creflo, your breath of life is also your heartbeat. From your bread of life, Creflo, my body, you eat. And if I have to explain that to you, you didn't know me, you know what I'm saying? Because upon this word of Upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Meant upon my word, you know, I was going to build my church. And the gates of hell wasn't going to be able to prevail against it. You know what I'm saying? Because I finished, you know what I'm saying? Done, you know what I'm saying? And moved on to big and better things, creating new heavens. And a new word, that's what I showed John, you know what I'm saying? John say, and I saw a new heaven and a new word, you know what I'm saying? And the old heaven and the old earth was passed away, and there was no more sea. Daddy had got all the salt out of the sea, made it dry land, planted rice, rice field, Uncle Pig. Uncle God, Uncle God, Granddad, you know what I'm saying? Uncle Daddy God, this rich man. Even Mama dear Uncle Pick. This margin rich, you know what I'm saying? Love y'all, man. And we miss you, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Creflo, give us something to talk about.
these Hebrews had been converted long enough in, 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 the, in the text I just read. They've been converted long enough to be ministering to others. Instead of teaching basic bi bi biblical truths, they now need someone to teach them. What is that saying? What is that saying? How is it that you can be a member of this church or any other church and still not know how to teach? How is it that you can be the pastor of the church and don't know how to preach? You know what I'm saying? Don't know how to teach. You know what I'm saying? You still teaching marriage. After the resurrection, I was walking resurrection teaching no marriage and that you wasn't married when the preacher told you you was married. You wasn't really married. Like the woman at the well, she had five husbands. Get that, she had five different husbands. But the fifth husband, I told her, wasn't your husband. You met the resurrection. <laughs> it's Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told the woman at the well. Come on, follow me. You can go with me. I told her, go get her husband. She said, I have none. She said, well, shit, if you doubting, <laughs> if you have a husband, then you don't have one. Doubt is a no-go. So if you doubt that you and him together, you must don't love him then. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? No problem. Just follow me then. You know what I'm saying? You know, our father, said, Abraham said we should worship in that mountain right there. You know what I'm saying? But you come teaching that we should worship in, the, in Jerusalem. And then Jesus said, woman, always come and now is when you will no longer worship in the mountain nor in Jerusalem true worshipers shall worship me in spirit and in truth this God you know what I'm saying true worshipers don't worship me in the spirit of their own heart where daddy Adam lived sitting on the throne of everybody's heart as their breath of life their bread of life their breathing air you know what I'm saying made flesh you know what I'm saying do oxygen turned into carbon monoxide gas you know what I'm saying God Adam, shit, you know what I'm saying, that's the way it go down, you God Adam, and you eat meat, food, vegetables, then you shit, you know what I'm saying, like a car, get gas, crank it up, then they got carbon monoxide coming out the, the tank, and it's bad gas coming out the car, you know what I'm saying, versus your ass, you know what I'm saying, that just stinks, the car gas a kid, you know what I'm saying, but you just like that car, you need fuel with the food, and liquid with the drink, you know what I'm saying, that's your living bread, and your living water, and my meat is food indeed. And my blood is drink in me, and I am the living water. You know, because they pierced me in my side and it ran on, on them. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Creflo, man, give me something easy. You know what I'm saying? I'm always catching you up with something. You know what I'm saying? Trying to teach something you don't know. Talking about them people out there need to know what you know. And that's something to know. Man, you in pre-K. Versus me and Adam, this Uncle Pig, bro. You'll catch up when you're born again and you die. It's too late now to just come on in. Adam came 2008 with the message. You didn't get it, then you didn't get it. And then 2009, we took off and left y'all down there. You had people losing it while you were in the house. You know what I'm saying? I seen you, you and TDJ didn't even go out and ride with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just went on with whatever the people was trying to put over y'all. <laughs> yeah, you followers, man. You ain't leaders. You don't know 
go. You know. Well, I'm not called to teach. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been saved long enough to be able to explain to somebody how to get saved, how to live saved, and, 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 and how to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> In this uh, text, they are so spiritually dull, they need someone to teach them the same truth over and over again. They cannot grasp the simplest biblical doctrine teaching because they have no interest in it. They can't grasp it because they don't care. How tragic when you have a teacher who has never grown beyond the basics and cannot take the class deeper into God's Word. You know, I started thinking about immaturity and the dangers of immaturity. And I started bringing it, I, I bought it on a, on, a, on a practical level where all of us, uh, we were born and we, we, as children, we grew up and we were immature. And I wonder what covered our immaturity while we were growing to a place of maturity. What covered it was you being God. You know what I'm saying? A child, all you have all day to do is listen to what God tells you through cartoons, through his mom and daddy through just in his mind, you know what I'm saying? I've talked to kids in their mind, it's God. Whatever they want to think about, I think about it with them. They think about their uh, former life and they think about their future life. They really think about the people who they seen through their mother's eyes in the nine months that they have been growing up. So they know their daddy, if their daddy around the mama, and if they, uh, if the mama loved the daddy, the baby know that too. And if the mama cheating on the daddy, the baby will know that too. You know what I'm saying? The baby know everything about the mama and everything about you, the daddy. Even if you're not around, the baby finds out stuff about itself and he listens to his mama, his ain't his uncle. Cousins talk about his daddy if the mama even remember the daddy or you know what I'm saying told him about his daddy. Some women don't even tell him about their daddy. You know what I'm saying? They go all they like without meeting their daddy, knowing their daddy. Mama don't want them to get to know their daddy. Don't, don't want the daddy to know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Or she is. Like I say, Griffo, man. It's all good, man. It's good, man. But like I said, man, you can't teach what you don't know. You can't learn. You can't learn if you're going to be jealous and covenant what somebody else got. You know what I'm saying? This power is God. You can't have God's power trying to steal, kill, and destroy it for it. And if I asked you for money five years ago, you would give it to me. What make you think? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask you for money now. You know what I'm saying? Or I want something from you as a gift. When you really believe that I'm God and I should prove it to you. You know what I'm saying? When you stop breathing, then I tell you you can breathe again and you start breathing again. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to ask for breath from now on. To the day you die, Gruffalo. That bitch better be, your, better be your main prayer. And I say better. Medical. Better be your, you know, everyday prayer. Can I get out? You use a type of person that'll believe that God will be a hypocrite and send a son to die for man's sin. You mean you tell me you really believed that God sacrificed Jesus? He sacrificed the son. Now, what kind of hypocrite would Jesus be telling you how good his daddy is if he sent his dad, his son to die for y'all? I said, I'm going to send my son. They, they killed my prophets, my, my servants, you know what I'm saying? People I had hired to go get, you know, my share of the harvest from those I left in charge, you know what I'm saying, now I can't even get none, so I'm going to send my own son, and guess what, they ain't going to hurt.
hurt him. They won't mess with him. I know they going to reverence my son. That's what your Bible say. I know they going to reverence my son. But tell me where in there did it say that I sent my son for you to kill him, steal from him, or destroy him, and not listen to him when he said ain't no marriage and giving him the marriage. And when he said, go sell all you have, young ruler, Creflo, dollar money man, cents, 15 cents, you know what I'm saying? Because all you is is in the pre-K. You not even in first grade, you know what I'm saying? You have earthly knowledge. You don't have heavenly knowledge, you know what I'm saying, Creflo? And we not willing to work with you and allow you in you know what I'm saying? What we got going on the business here. But you allowed to reap the benefits. You know what I'm saying? Everybody allowed to reap the benefits. This is the food. I'm real happy that Adam has chosen to give us a way free. This is a lot of burdens. When a man can't just walk in and receive what he need to eat. You know what I'm saying? Got to wait on money. That he got a bar when I said he the head and not to tell. Lynn and don't expect nothing in return. The only reason he broke, cause somebody expected him to pay for something he didn't have. And when he never received to give, he never received to eat. He had to beg all his life. Not me, but those that lived like how I ended up, like I wanted to end up. I gave my life and all my work, all my money, up, all my living. Like the woman with the two mics, I gave all my living, up, not to work for anybody but God, Creflo Dollar. I tried to ask you for something, so you could receive something, but you didn't like Adam. You don't like Eve. You don't like the characters in the Bible. <laughs> and you need to sit your ass down and stay on earth, buddy. Just receive the free stuff, man. Don't play with religion. It's not for you. You're a dollar, man. You're not an angel. You're a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Not an angel. This is not you a test. This is your emergency broadcast system parents. announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned That's what by parents the US were supposed government. to do. Cover Weapons your immaturity. Well, when you come to spiritual immaturity, we, we all, all got born again and we all were born again government spiritually immature, but there's supposed to be a covering there just like it was the parents and the natural. And what, what's, the, what's the covering there for the elders, leadership? They're supposed to be the covering there. They're supposed to be the ones continuing to teach and to watch over you and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is this, that now we have elders who are no more mature than the people they're supposed to be leading. And so now you got the blind leading the blind. You got children being raised by children. And, you and that's you, Creflo. That's where you fall in, man. You a child, man. You blind, you blind, leading the blind. You think you a person that got in your heart that God is a low-down, dirty, no-good-ass sinner that judge and accuse people and would send his own son to snakes and kill him. You know what I'm saying? God paid the price for our sins by sending his own son to have him killed by y'all, Creflo. And then you sitting up there talking about you somebody qualified to teach. I'll be down. I'll be this down. Is not a That's test. bad. This now. is your emergency this broadcast one. system. That's muddy one. <laughs> At your mouth. You know what I'm saying? We have in the pulpit a bunch of preachers who are themselves spiritually immature. And so it's no wonder we're where we are. Because we have people who don't dig no more. We're more concerned about getting the validation of our congregations that we're not digging anymore. It's not about Jesus anymore. It's about everything else but Jesus. It can't be about your car. It can't be, be about your brick. And, and it ain't supposed to be about Jesus, man. You know what I'm saying? Be 
hardest, which Adam was Jesus. Jesus was Adam. It really is supposed to be about Adam. You know what I'm saying? Jesus said, Holy Father, glorify thou you me with the glory that we had from the beginning. Adam to sleep. When you go to sleep, I put you to sleep. And when I put Adam to sleep, guess what? Guess what? When I, when I put Adam to sleep, I took a reef. Yeah. And, um,
better than receiving. Always and forever shall freedom be considered an honor. You know what I'm saying? Slavery will always grade a man or a woman or a child. Never will anything be enslaved again. Food right now is enslaved. Housing right now is enslaved. Transportation, car sales are ungodly committed. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to convict the world of committing treason. You know what I'm saying? By buying and selling. Everybody at fault. Everybody charged. Now I forgive if you repent and say, Lord, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? You say, Lord, forgive me. I will forgive you. You know what I'm saying? And you will be
fruits and stuff in there, man. I be feeling like it's getting contaminated. You know what I'm saying? With, with evil, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that man a sinner. But the devil judged and accused him for something. He did and God let him do it. Tom player, man. 
it'll, 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 it'll bust the hell out of some goddamn music. But when the bass drum's playing and that tritone's playing, oh man, that's the tempo of the band. That's the heartbeat of America. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why we like the battle of the band when we see black colleges play. You know what I'm saying? You notice know it be blacks and whites in there watching them dance and get down. Better get off this thing, man. You're doing too good, man. A lot of people be hating, man. You don't want to hate the last too long. Let them breathe, Adam. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. Let Watching glory. Wear glory. You know what I'm saying? Make glory. Want to wear glory. You glory too. Well, so dog. Wear it. Wear me. You me. I'm you too. <laughs>
come back and we'll be peace of that big little peace. You know what I'm saying? Because peace is love. You know what I'm saying? And peace's job is to love. And God is love. And God's job is to love. Like soap is made to clean, God is made to love. And I love y'all. It's love.